Hello guys, this is Sue and today we'll discuss uh, about uh, uh, how to read the data from serial port and how to uh, write the data into the serial port using Qt. So for this in dot uh, pro file uh, we will uh, add this module serial port and here I'm maintaining one flag also defines equal m write. So when this uh, line I will comment then this program will read the data from the serial port. And when I, I will uncomment this uh, line defines equal m write, then this program uh, will uh, write the data into the serial port. So I will show you the both the cases. And uh, now in the dot header file, I have included some uh, headers. I have included some header file like uh, Q byte array, Q serial port, Q debug, Q core application, and Q timer. In the constructor, uh, I have a pass uh, the pointer variable of Q serial port. This method I, I will use for the to write the data into the uh, serial port m write. And here I have a pass the reference of the Q byte array variable. I have taken some slots handle ready read to read the data from serial port handle ready write. Uh, this method will uh, track uh, the data successfully has been uh, written into the serial port or not. So here I have passed the variable of uh, m byte of type qint64 and uh, handle timeout to handle the timeout situation and handle error. Here I have taken the variable error of type serial port error. And apart from that uh, I have taken some uh, private variables. Q serial port class variable pointer type I have taken I, I have initialized as a null pointer Q byte array to read the data timer for the timeout M write data of type Q byte array type to write the data to the serial port and M written data to track uh, how much data has been written into the serial port of type Qint64 I have taken so now move to the .cpp file here I have taken the buffer 50 byte to read the data from the uh, serial port num read to track uh, data has been read from the serial port or not in the constructor I have initialized this uh, m serial port by the m serial variable of type pointer uh, which uh, I will pass I will pass this value when uh, I will initialize the variable of the class means when I will make the object of this uh, class and serial port and I will pass the reference of this serial port variable for uh, to write the data in the, in the, into the serial port uh, I have uh, used the connect I have passed the and serial variable and uh, when byte written into the serial port this slot will be called handle ready write if any error has been occurred then handle error slot will be called same for the read to when a data is ready to read from the serial port handle ready read slot will be called if any error has been occurred in the reading then a handle error will be called when timeout will happen then timeout handle timeout slot will be called so let's discuss uh, each slots and uh, methods which I have used the logic so first uh, uh, in the m write uh, I have passed the q byte array variable reference and uh, I have assigned this value to m write data and here using this syntax I am uh, writing the data into the serial port return value I will take in this variable return data and if this is 1 then a write data will be fail and I will come out of the program and uh, for handle ready read I have taken the infinite for loop using this syntax I will uh, read the data from the serial port I, I have passed the buffer and size of the buffer that is the 50 byte and uh, value return means whatever value I will get return value from this syntax I have taken in the m reader variable and if this is 0 and uh, wait for ready read from the serial port means uh, uh, we are not waiting 
for to read in data from the serial port then we will come out of the program this uh, sorry this for loop and after this uh, we will check if timer is active then uh, if timer is if timer is not active then uh, timer will start again uh, in the interval of 5 seconds 5000 millisecond we have passed here here uh, uh, i have uh, print the read data also whatever data we will read through this uh, syntax we will uh, print the data through this line and uh, after that uh, handle ready write whenever we will write any data into the serial port we will try it through this uh, method sorry through this slot so m byte we will uh, add the m byte in the m written data and we will check if m written data is equal to m write data if it is same if this condition is true then we will uh, make the m written data to zero and we will print the message data write successfully and we will come out of the program with this syntax q core application quit and in the handle timeout this we are using for the to read the data from the serial port so when timeout will happen means after each 5 second uh, we will take the port name in a string we will close the port open again press in a read only mode we will set the port name whatever we have taken here and we will set the baud rate standard baud rate 115200 so we are closing the port because uh, uh, after each timeout we will not uh, uh, open every time new port name because it will uh, use all the ports then our system will be crashed after some time so again uh, after uh, means whatever port we are using we need to first close and then we need to open again new port so that uh, we will not use each time after timeout means new port uh, means we will not uh, uh, what we say we will not use all the port uh, standard is i think uh, 1024 so using a uh, close and open each time after timeout we will use only one port out of 1024 port from the standard in handle error uh, we will check whatever error we will get we will check it is a read or write if, if it is a read error then we will print a message read error with a port name and error string and if it is a write error then we will just uh, uh, print the message write error and uh, port name and error string okay guys so all the logic i have discussed now let's move to the main.cpp our entry point of the program so here uh, i have used the q core application argument size to track the number of uh, argument which we will pass when we will run the program and q core application argument this is the argument list so here we will just uh, using this argument list we will pick the port name so if argument count is one means uh, we are passing only uh, one argument means our program name so at least we need two argument our program name and port name so we will return from here if it is two argument then we will just uh, take the class and its variable q serial port set the port name using this argument list at one because uh, counting uh, will start from the zero so zero index our program name will, will will be there and at the first index our uh, path name whatever we will give uh, then we will run the program we will get in this uh, index we will set the baud rate 115200 and if we are using this program for the write data to the serial port we will use this we will open the port in the write only mode otherwise we will open uh, the port in the read only mode so if we are writing then we will take the uh, input from the user using this uh, line text stream mstdn variable and we will pass the standard input variable we will read the line give to the q string value and we will pass the m line after converting a standard uh, string and in a c format string 
to the q byte array variable and same values will pass to the m write t function write data and uh, class we will initialize the object of the class m serial port and we will pass the reference of the uh, m s port and m s port is nothing but whatever uh, we have taken here uh, q serial port and its variable the so same uh, reference of the object will pass here of the q serial port this this was the for the writing data to the serial port so if we are uh, reading from the serial port then we need to only initialize the uh, object and we will pass the reference of the same uh, q serial port object whatever we have taken so like this uh, our logic is complete so i am using to uh, for the serial port this utility in the linux so get using this utility you will get the two port uh, to read and write the data on one port we will write the data and on the second port we will read the data so i will use this command so let me show you let me show you the how this program will work so currently this program is enabled i have commented this time so this program will read the data from the serial port so let me first compile So program is compiled successfully. So let me show you through the terminal. So I have opened the two terminal. So first I will start the port serial port virtual serial serial port. So I will run this command. So now I have two port here dev pts3 and dev pts4. Whatever I will write in this port dev dev pts4 I will read from this port dev pts3. So let me show you. So I have written my program name. Let me show you clearly. Yeah, program name and uh, port from which we want to read. And uh, I will just uh, write some data. So I will get the input here. So on the four, this port I will write. And this port I will read three. So I'm just writing hello C. So we are not getting any data. Let me show you. Okay, so we have not entered the command here. So let me enter the uh, press button in my keyboard. So here you can see whatever data I have passed, I have got that hello hello C. So let me pass the another value. Hello to C. So you can see I got the value. Hello to C. So like this, uh, you can read the data from the serial port. So now let me show you how to write the data into the serial port. So I will enable this flag. Define M write and I will press compile again. Run QNA and build. So now I will uh, write the data into the serial port and I will read. So I will again press start uh, all the ports. So now I will write on this port and I will read in this port. So for reading uh, there is a command here. I will write the pts3 and I will use the cat command cat redirectional operator. So whatever value I will got in this port. Uh, through this command, I will read an output you will see here. So now let me run this program to write the data. So on this port I will write and on this port I will read. So let me enter. So let me show you. Mm, let me minimize. Yeah. So I am writing here hi see you. data write successfully but I didn't get any data here let me check what is the issue okay I got hi see you. I didn't uh, press the enter button that's why 
so let me write another value how are you you can see how are you message i i have got in the read port so guys i uh, hope you got the idea how to uh, you can uh, Uh, read the data from the serial port and write the data into the serial port using the qt so do practice thank you so much bye bye